In this video, I'm going to show you how to use email templates to send email in Power Apps. Now, before I even explain to you what an email template is, so first let me navigate to Power Platform Admin Center and show you where all those settings are available. So I'm, I'm going into one of the environments. So this is Girish Preview Use Environment. And then if I go into the settings, uh, I, uh, I, I will show you where those email templates are. So if you go into templates, there is something called as email signatures and email templates. So if I click on email templates, uh, this will open in a separate window. Let me go back here again, go into the templates uh, and then uh, under email, I have some settings which I need to do and show it to you, email settings, okay? So email templates, email templates are basically a set of templates which is created in the system. Now you can utilize this template for sending out an email, okay? Now I'll show you how to create an email template and uh, all those settings. Now, in order to do that, first what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make use of a simple application. So it's a model-driven application. So I have this one table, Commonwealth Nations, and this has a list of Commonwealth Nations listed over here. And it doesn't do anything fancy. You click on new, you create the nation's name, and then you select the contact, okay? And then once you select the contact and save it, what happens, an email will be sent to that contact. Okay, so it is like an invitation for a cultural festival. Okay, so if I want to invite a set of contact for a cultural festival, then I can utilize that. Okay, so uh, in order to start, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you first how to add those email templates within your model driven application. So you click on new, you click on Dataverse table. Now in the back end, there is something called as email template table, which is already created uh, for you. So if I click on email template over here, see, you need not do this. I'm just uh, adding it into the model driven app just to show you, but then in your application, you need not even do that, okay? Uh, this is just to give you a nice interface on how do we see the email template, which is already existing. Now, the email template list, which I see over here is a classic view. I'll be showing you in a how it looks in a modern interface, okay? So let this get published first. And the moment it is published, I'll just do a quick refresh and then show it to you how to utilize the email template to send out an email. Okay, email templates. Coming to email templates, I'll, I, I, we can see the list of email template which is created for the organization. I will start with a blank template. Okay, so start with a blank template. Now, I can name the template name. So template name is uh, Com Commonwealth Cultural Fest. Okay, cultural festival in, in invitation. Uh, it can be permission level, can be individual organization. I'll select organization and category. I'll select contact. Okay, and click on create. So I'm creating an email template based on the contact. Now, this is how the template will look like. Now, for template editor, I need to have the subject and the uh, the body. Now, for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a copilot over here and I'll say write uh, one page email inviting countries to cultural festival okay so it will start looking uh, and I, i'll got some sort of an email okay so uh, i'll use this email to you know send across so uh, that's that's fine i'll just stop uh, responding to this and then i'll just copy the subject line okay so i'll just copy the subject line and I'll just copy this so details again. Okay. So let me just remove the formatting over here. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just put this in a notepad plus plus. So Or maybe uh, just uh, when I paste it, Control Shift V. Yes, now this is fine because it was just taking the formatting options as well. So I'll just take this off. Okay, so what we have done is we have uh, used this uh, template and uh, we have created this uh, basic response. Okay, now here, dear recipient's name, this will be a dynamic content. Now, this dynamic content, we are going to replace this dear recipient name with. Uh, a dynamic content so here we have an option to insert the dynamic text okay so dynamic text will appear we can select contact and the field name i'm going to select a uh, first name and the last name okay so 
if I find the first name and the last name so I'll just get the first name and again select contact and I'll select the last name so I'll select the first name last name and insert so this is my email uh, message okay so nothing fancy this is just a simple email which you may use in your organization so you can increase the font size i'll just make it 16 just to look big uh, and that's it now this is an email template which we have created now how to utilize this email template okay so we will write a flow for that now in order to use that flow we will go to apps we'll go to power automate preview and i'll just paste it over here now email template if you see this email template over over here this is the template id okay so i'll copy this template id okay this will come handy for me now from from a power automate perspective we are going to create a flow so i'll just say create and we are going to create an automated cloud flow and then i'll just click on skip and i'll just close the copilot and from here i need a trigger so dataverse trigger so uh, what should happen is like if i add any record when a row is added okay i'll just add this when a row is added so change type is added and the table name is commonwealth table right this is the application so what we want is this particular application when someone adds anything over here so where is this application gone okay so let me play this application so the goal is basically if someone creates a new record over here then and select a contact then an email should go to that person so for that we have selected table name as commonwealth scope as organization and that's it okay and i'll name this as send uh, email email template okay so that's what we are demonstrating now i'll just make it here okay when a row is added modified or deleted then uh, this should happen now we need to get an email template right so i'll just say dataverse and get row get row by id so in dataverse we have something called as get row by id from a selected environment so i'll just click here I'll just say get a row by ID. So I'll select that. Now the ID for the email template is this, right? We will copy this and we will explicitly mention to Power Automate that pick up this template because we want this template to be utilized. So first thing here, we need to select the table name, which is email templates, which I just showed you. Row ID is this, this one. So we have got the row ID now. So this is all good. So we have uh, pointed to a specific template. Now, we need to add an unbound action okay so to call that email template so we will perform an unbound action now within that un um, unbound action we will send out an email send email from template so send email from template is one of the plugin action so we'll select that now send email from template now here there are advanced parameters so template id and regarding so these are the a couple of important things now template id we already have this get row by id so we are going to pick from there so i'll just select and get row by id and click more and we need to select email template id okay so email template which is a unique identifier of the template we'll select that okay now regarding now regarding means how this email template is linked to so the goal is basically if you select uh, if you add a country okay so if i add say france and if i select contact commonwealth as say alex okay or girish then this contact should have that email assigned to it okay so it is it is kind of a linking okay now I will just do a hard coding uh, for the sake of this demo, but you can make it dynamic as well. So just to show you the contact table. So I've already opened the contact table over here. And if you see this Alex over here, Alex, okay. Alex has this contact ID. So I'll hard code this ID. If I pick, pick Adele, I'll pick hard code this ID. Okay. Now, how to reference this? So in order to reference this as a regarding component, what you need to do, you need to put a slash and then put the 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 name of that entity contacts and then slash and then put the id okay so the id of say alex so i'll just link it to say alex or any any other user okay i'm just hard coding this value but then you can pick uh you can put a dynamic content depending on your logic okay so i'm just adding some record over here okay item target now this will define the from the to the cc the bcc okay 
Now we have this email template, but then to send to whom? Okay. So for that, it will pick up that contact context. Now, before you even set up email configuration, I'm assuming that you have already configured email for your tenant, but then if you haven't, then what you need to do, you need to go into say your environment, go into the settings of your environment, and then make sure that you have linked that email uh, server integration. Okay, now that's that's pretty much important for you to send out an email. Okay, so email, if you go to email, you can go to email settings. And then from here, you need to configure all the server profile, incoming email, outgoing email. And then if you go back to the settings again, then there is something called as mailboxes. Okay, so you go into mailboxes. So you will have all set of users mailboxes. I've already created my mailbox over here. And then I have uh, uh, configured the, so I've selected over here. I, I approved my email i activated it i've tested and enabled and that's why i can see this green tick so if you do not have that you will not be able to send an email okay so for this configuration you need to do okay coming back to the flow from item target now what is it is like you need to uh, put some uh, component over here now what that component is like i've already built this ahead of time so this is how it looks like it says email activity parties okay and it is a simple uh, kind of a JSON, okay? Now I'll just copy this JSON, okay? And I'll put it in a JSON viewer just to show you and explain to you what it is, okay? Now, let me zoom this a bit, okay? Now here, if you see uh, this one, email activity parties, O data type Microsoft Dynamics CRM email, that's hard coded. Now here you have two components, zero and one. Zeroth one, it says party ID system, O data bind, and something and one has something in it now what it is is zero indicates from one indicates two two indicates cc three indicates uh, bcc okay now this is from a zeroth component okay now if you see over here participation type mask as one is from participation type mask two is two and then if it is three, then it is CC, and then if it's four, it's BCC, okay? Now, here, how, how to read this component, okay? Now, this indicates the, the logical name of the table, so system user. This indicates the set name, okay? So, logical name, set name, and then the GUID. From here, it will pick which system user it is, okay? Similarly, let's read this contact from contact, go into slash contacts and then pick this contact. So this contact email address will become the two, okay? Because the participation mask is two, so this becomes two. Similarly, participation mask type is one, so this becomes from. And if you want CC and BCC, what you can do, go into your text here. I'm gonna just copy this again, okay? So just copy this and then make this as three, make this as four, okay? So if I do this thing, go to Weaver, come here. So this is my PCC, this is my CC, this is my two, and this is my from, okay? So if you know this, you'll be able to uh, add this component within your flow, okay? So let me do one thing, let me, copy this so i'm just hard coding this value okay and i'll explain to you what what that contact record would be so item slash target over here now make sure that the from component is coming from the email id which is approved okay so i'm picking it from a system users table and e3 is my id okay so let me go into the power apps and go to system users table okay so system user table is basically a user table so how to find that is go to user now if you see here this is user system user okay so i'm going into this table and now if once you go into this table if you select this under tool you can get the set name the logical name for this particular table okay now from here I'll just type in user and I will pick up full name, 
filter by and contains and just put my name Girish. Now, if you see, if I put my name over here, it says E3A5 as the user. Okay. Now, as you see over here, E3A5, right? So the first part I told you this is a logical name and this is a set name system users how to get the set name you can just go into the table tools copy set name copy logical name and then you can get those tables. now this is from a user perspective okay let me go into the contact table now contact table we have already opened here now from a contact if i want to pick up adele's email address i will pick up this guid okay if i want to pick alex's i put alex so let's send out an email to alex okay so i'm just copying alex's email uh, id basically it's a id uh, of that contact record so mm -hmm. something six zero something okay so i can pick this contacts over here and then paste it so now alex will receive an email so from girish but to is alex okay it's because contacts is six zero e and then the six zero e id belongs to alex and then it will pick the email from there so this is how you basically create a flow okay now make sure that it is all well formed and we have done a good job uh, of forming it well uh, if everything is good click on save then your flow is complete okay so this is how you basically create a flow now let's uh, run this flow okay now this flow will be ran automatically okay now let me go into alex and alex does not have any email received so far okay so we have created a template so let's go into the commonwealth nations application so here let me refresh this because on the left hand side we should see email template as well okay yes now it's good so go to commonwealth nations let's see if this works fine or not so let me pick a country and i'll just call it as uh, jamaica and then contact commonwealth i'll pick alex okay i'll click on save the moment i do that if everything works fine alex should receive an email if not your flow will complain okay so i'll just refresh this and even i should receive an email uh, okay so but i haven't received email let's see what's happening with the flow so go back and now here you will see that the flow has succeeded okay now the flow has succeeded 21 second ago and i have received an email okay 6 2 pm Hello to Rupal. I have received an email. Now, why I have received an email? Because this is coming from a uh, different flow which I have configured. Okay. Now, this particular flow is getting the flow from here. So it says, Dear someone, okay, the person you have put Adele's name. This uh, I hope this message finds you well. On behalf of this, I've got this email, right? And this is from coming from the second flow which I have configured for it. But for the demo purpose, you can see that this is work perfectly fine okay so this is how you basically use uh, an email template to send out an email so that's it folks uh, this is uh, you basically configure email template first you create an email template once you create that email template you run a flow iterate through the email template id get the correct email address which we have uh, demonstrated in this example over here uh, and then uh, what you need to do is like you need to run an unbound action An unbound action will point to sending an email from email template and then you put some sort of a JSON over here. This JSON I'm going to put in my uh, uh, GitHub repository so that you can pick up from that and depending on whatever items you put over here. So it need not be a contact. It can be any table, uh, but provided you put a correct contact ID over here, right? And then it will send out an email. So that's it, folks. Thanks for watching.